Hello, it is Didi here, and welcome to another LEGO set review. Today, we're taking a look at LEGO set 76275. Oh, gee, this is a mouthful. Motorcycle Chase Spider Man vs. Doc Ock. Why is the name that long? 77 pieces, comes with two minifigures, and retails for $9.99 USD. Also, if you watch the speed build, you will notice I put on Doc Ock arms backwards. Uh, these were. This bit was attached to that, so I thought that was pretty funny. Um, so this is a very small set, so it'll be a very small, short review. Um, long story short, I bought it for him. And I'm upset, because when you look at the other side, you're going to notice that I got messed up printing. So, yeah, I'm going to buy another one. And pray to God that I get that one good. And then this one can just be a duplicate or some shit. All right. So, let's move these guys out of here. So, you get this little lamp post thingy, right? Uh, you get... I've never gotten a head in this translucent yellow before, so that's really nice. Um, you get a fish in a trash can and a giant bone. I don't know why that's very... I'm not saying Lego's supposed to be appealing to children, but, like, a bone? That's a little much. I am in love with this new banana peel piece, and it gives me hope for a Lego Mario Kart set uh, with figures. Or maybe with not. I don't know. But, uh, and it's kind of rubbery, so, like, it can bend a little bit so that it's not completely plastic. But I like that. It can't go on anything, but it can go in something like this. So if maybe if you wanted to make a cheese fountain, you could just use this instead and pretend it's cheese. Uh, you got this dumb little motorcycle here because, you know, Spider-Man has a motorcycle and it's got, you know, the stud shooters there on both sides. And then those just reload like this. Uh, something really nice about it, though, is this is a printed piece, in case you wanted to use that for anything. And then Spider-Man, same minifigure we've been getting since 2021, so nothing special. And he doesn't even have the dual-molded legs, uh, but we all know how these work. I'm going to try and put him on this bike and see how this looks. So, set him down there. Can he even grab these handles? He he cannot. He, he Wow. So, th this, is, this is what you get. You get... A little Spider-Man on a bike that can't even grab the handles. That's nice. Um, this is a bad set. All right. Um, the, the only good thing about it is this guy. So, Venomized Doc Ock, or as the set calls it, Venom Doc Ock. Brand new torso. And, you know, it looks good. I just wish they'd finish the spiders. It does have back torso printing as well. There's a little bit of Venom on him there. Uh, I don't like this arm design. I really don't. Um, but you get dynamite. And something I noticed about it is they put this little ridge on the bottom so that, because people used to just shove it in the hand like that, like that, like this. See, I'm not even going to do it. It's going to damage it. See what I mean? And it creates those like little crease marks. I think they put these ridges in so you can just slide it into the hands. And that's so much more convenient. I really appreciate them for doing that. You get some gems. So if you don't have any Lego gems, there you go. All right. Facial print looks great, right? Right? Well, just wait till you see the other side, because I'm upset, and I was going to use this for something. All right. I don't know how much you can tell on here, but this side is printed beautifully. The mouth is printed beautifully, but look at the difference in the eyes. This one's got some faded printing on the upper top there, and it's and like the black kind of fades away on this side. It's a very thin light. It's hard to tell on the freaking camera, but it's... And, hey, maybe that's a benefit for me because then I'm the only one who sees it badly. And if I use this for something, it'll be, you know, indistinguishable. But basically, I can see the skin tone under this eye more than this one. And it's just very annoying. So the fact that it looks good on camera, maybe I won't go buy another one. So never mind. Ignore that. But I'm planning on using this to try and recreate the scientists, the Venomized scientists from LEGO Marvel Super Heroes because they always were really cool to me. Um, you can also use them for pretty much Venomized anybody. And it's a really nice head print on this side. So if you just ignore the fact that it was Venomized Doc Ock, it's actually a really, really useful head um, that you can use for nearly anybody. But... So yeah, very small set, and I said I was going to start doing alternative builds for every set, and that does include small sets like this. So there is going to be a small, teeny, tiny, super dumb alternative build, but we'll see how that goes. So 
stay tuned for that. There's a tutorial coming for that as well, because I'm learning from my mistake. I made a tutorial out of a Spider-Man mech. I made a tiny spider plane, and everybody wanted a tutorial, but I didn't make one because I hated it. So I'm not going to make that same mistake again. So, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like, leave a comment down below, uh, hit the subscribe button, turn up every time I post a video. I never say that right. Follow my Twitch. I stream every Saturday. Peace out, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.